Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I am here with Psyche Kusono sign on episode number 11 and 12 reaction. Okay, uh, the previous week I wasn't able to post uh, a video. I was a little bit busy. But from this week onwards, I'm going to again resume with my two episode every week, you know, like the way I usually do. So, all right, the previous two episodes, episode number nine and 10, uh, episode number nine had quite a few things. I remember uh, we, we met uh, a new character whose name is, I think, Mera. I think Mera Chisato or something like that, um, who is like, you know, who like does a lot of part-time jobs and all. And um, like Psyche went, to like you know his favorite place where it like you know, where they give co coffee jellos and she was like the waitress over there and uh, she's kind of like you know hungry most of the time and you know that was like you know, that was uh Mera Chisato and she kind of messed up like you know like because as soon as she saw Psyche she realized like oh my god like you know my, my school does not allow a uh, part-time so it'll be a problem but later on uh, one of the teachers come in and Psyche later on kind of changed the world, you know, like the way he usually does it by using, like, you know, taking out that pin and made it normal for their school to allow part time. And uh, like everyone knows that Mira works there now. So that was like a good thing that he did. A few other things happened as well. Uh, I remember um, meeting. Um, uh, <sighs> Uh, what's his name? Oh my god, I forgot. I've I've not watched this one week and I've already forgotten the name. Nendo, Nendo, Nendo's mom. You know, Nendo's mom and uh, <laughs> the the magician guy. Uh, you know, like I think uh, Nyoro, Chono, Chono, yeah, Chono, and you know, like them, like <laughs> Nendo's mom, like you know, kind of uh, l not likes, but he likes Nendo's mom, and like you know, like and Nendo's mom left him because of his like you know usual stuff that he does and uh, he was actually doing the magic show to win her back and uh, Psyche was the assistant because Mr. Ike got into an accident <laughs> and Psyche was almost going to like you know like the the different uh, the magics that he was using uh, it was kind of flawed so Psyche was the only one who was able to get out of that uh, like you know, unharmed and in the end we also kind of get to see like you know Nendo's mom her coming and them having like an, like a problem all that stuff you know like it, it, it was interesting and uh, uh, the next episode there were a few things that happened uh, for example the cat the new cat that we got to know uh, he was like you know in, in a problem with uh, not problem but liked another cat and Psyche tried to kind of become the wingman or the wing cat whatever you tell because Psyche became a cat but um you know the reverse ended up happening where the cat started liking psyche and it, it was a mess and all these things happened so <laughs> let's see what what today's episode brings this is episode number 11 and uh, yeah let's get started i'll be putting the subtitles in the timer here take it whichever is your preference and let's start okay here's the countdown three two one go Oh, we also met um, that guy. I forgot to mention that. Um, Teruhashi's brother, who ended up being Teruhashi's brother. You know, he's that usual, you know, like, loves his little sister kind of trope thing. And I think he, he takes it a little bit too far. But, yeah, we'll see. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure we're going to meet him in the future as well. So... <laughs> Hmm. All right. Jump Cyborg Spider Man number two. Oh. 
Oh, okay. The kids saw that. But I guess, um... <laughs> Wait! <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh my god, here we go. <laughs> yeah, you did it, you know. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, what about you want? Oh! <laughs> Spider-Man. Oh my god. 150N. <laughs> oh my god. Oh! Yo, he's gonna get isekai'd! <laughs> oh wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow there's like so many it's like a whole character yo what the what was that <laughs> um <laughs> yeah? Oh no, he's gonna say... Oh my god. <laughs> um... I wonder what happened to him. Hmm. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh my god, he realized now. <laughs> yeah, okay. We're gonna fly, come on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Up, oh, he's not here. Exactly. Oh, it's also gone. <laughs> New oh no is it oh no is it beside ah. <laughs> that's awkward <laughs> Yo. top ranking company father's job okay <laughs> Wow, okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's under okay then there you go. <laughs> See I'm on <laughs> Well What? Okay. So. Oh. Uh. 
<laughs> okay. Weekly Shonen Con. Yeah. What? No. <laughs> Only months. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> My God. Yeah, the whole deadlines and stuff, you know. <laughs> what the? Hunter. <laughs> Okay. He didn't even know what he did. Okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right, stop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo. What the hell? Yeah, advising people to make Naruto. <laughs> Uh. Mm. Okay. Oh yeah, great. Wow. <laughs> Okay, how about five coffee jellos? I think he, he would do it for that. Tyra, oh my god, it's, this is going to continue. This kid. Yo! <laughs> that's handy. Yeah, that's handy. Oh my god, here we go. No, that kid. It's probably him. There you go. <laughs> You that that's his name. Wow. He's like, oh, soda's not coming out. <laughs> Whoa. It even has an a uh, anime? What? What? Okay. <laughs> Lemonade Fiend. What? <laughs> Yo! <laughs> yeah. Oh no, if he loses now. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, it, it doesn't. This lemon juice. <laughs> Wow. Wow, they're actually okay. Okay. <laughs> wow, this is just a whole advertisement. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Wait, what? What's he doing here? <laughs> okay, please don't do that. Why are you licking your... Oh! Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, does he? Yeah! What? How? Yeah! Oh, he imitated him! Yeah, yes! <laughs> wow, Yuta's not coming back anymore. <laughs> Kusua Psyche's holiday, okay. Okay. Hmm. Oh no. Oh, I thought that was Nendo. I thought that was Nendo's voice. Never mind. Hmm. Hmm. Oh my god, I feel Yeah, there you go. <laughs> he just left. Wow. <laughs> eh? Everyone's here. <laughs> My God. <laughs> oh no, I feel like Terahashi or someone like that is going to pop up. Oh wait, did he lose? What? Yeah, he, how can he lose it? Oh. Oh, there's someone who's... Wow. Well, you also got... Yeah? Yeah. I was thinking, how could he get... <laughs> I was thinking, how did he get pickpocketed from? <laughs> oh, he's going to hunt him down. With interest. All right. Oh, the equivalent exchange. Ah, well, there you go, equivalent exchange. Was it? I think it was equal. God damn. <laughs> oh, there you go. I, as I said, I ported him. 
Hmm. But <laughs> wow. Okay. I'm turning myself in. Oh, it's back. Okay. Oh yeah, that's true. Oh my god, it's... <laughs> wow, all of them go... Wait, how, where did you even keep it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> god damn. Well, everyone knows now we were here. Yep. What happened to, what happened to his wallet? What? Psyche Kuso's woman, tr woman troubles, okay. Hmm, okay. <laughs> yeah? Punia? <laughs> well, that's that's sad. Uh, um, okay. She's she always has this aura in her yo her aura <laughs> yeah okay okay uh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the way it changed. Okay. Um, no. Well. Oh, here we go. Okay. Wow. Hmm. Hmm? Uh... Yeah, oh my god. Oh! Psyching, okay. Okay. Re what? Oh no. I feel like he she can actually figure it out. Well, there you go. <laughs> hmm. This guy these two are pretty perspective yeah. Wow, they're just there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Yes, just what we wanted. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, uh, wait, what's happening? 
Oh, that's what happened. I'm like, what's happening? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's it. Okay. Wow. Well, more complications, you know? Like, <laughs> we don't know what's going to happen now. Like, both of them, they think <laughs> that the other person likes someone else. But after they'll go to Okinawa, I feel like the whole school trip, it'll become even more complicated. <clears throat> Hmm, all right. <clears throat> Is that it? Yep, there you go. Okay, we, <laughs> we, begin, we begin this episode with the, the whole cider <laughs> The whole cider man thing, cider man number two. And uh, this kid, now the, the thing here is, the whole advertisement policy or whatever you call it here is that oh they made like a like a superhero for uh like a like a like a like a brand for like you know like a like a drink and all that thing it's, it's quite what can i say like you know, they, they made like a person a hero it even had have its own anime anime it was i'm guessing that thing that we saw and the way they kind of <laughs> sneaking all this little advertisement you know like the, the thing like oh like you know like lemon cider 140 no what uh, 150 150 yen with taxes or whatever like you know that that whole thing we saw that's that's pretty <laughs> what can i say that's ah uh, like <laughs> like that's that's pretty like thorough i have to say and uh like it's working like the, the kid was like oh i want to drink some lemon cider like can you can you buy me some and i always like you know i can and i always think and i've thought this when i was a kid as well like i always thought why does advertisements even exist you know like i feel like we used to have these commercial breaks in the te television whenever we used to watch and i was like why do they even like you know what 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 type of a like do people even buy more when they see the commercials like does it even work in the, the intended way and i always used to think like does it even work but <laughs> yeah <laughs> like it, it does work actually you know like these commercials and everything where we get to see like a certain thing and we're like oh that looks kind of good why don't i give it a try and uh, you know that's how they kind of attract more people and everything so this is one thing that i always wonder like does advertisement and commercials even work it does work apparently otherwise why would like you know like these even exist and uh, we can get like see like a proof in front of us like you know what what actually like you know it, that it actually works like especially like in little kids who see these type of flashy commercials they're like oh that looks kind of good no, it might work and this kid here Utah, he is so much into the whole cider man thing that he doesn't even realize that it's actually a commercial <laughs> even like a character made for a commercial and uh, <clears throat> you know like he he brings out like in a, a like a magazine he sees psyche go and bring uh not bring but uh like you know save his uh, balloon so he was like oh you must be cider man you know like cider man number two and it's like, can you can you bring out cider from your legs, your hands? Can you do that? Please show me. Please show me. Can you can you jump? Do the cider jump again? All these things he was saying. <laughs> he brings out the book and showing like you know even like they have like a 
um, like a character model and everything with like di different things. So <clears throat> all of these things were happening. Psyche does try to kind of you kind know, of like go away from him, kind of you know move away. But multiple things happen where he cannot. Number one, he starts crying first of all. So Psyche has to go back and give him like a, a little autograph, fake autograph. Then he almost tripped and almost got isekai so Psyche had to save him, you know. <coughs> and um, then in the end, he was like, okay, like enough is enough. Let me find a, like a police officer. And he finds a police officer, <coughs> brings him to uh, the guy and <laughs> Yuta starts talking about how Psyche did this, Psyche did that, all that stuff. And the police was already suspicious of Psyche. So he was like, all right, let's like, you know, go and question him. So I, I don't know what the hell Psyche did to him, but he did something. And the, guy, <laughs> the guy was not seen anymore, the police officer. Either way, <laughs> Psyche was like, all right, I have to like, you know, like go along with this kid. Otherwise, I don't know what he's going to say to some other people. He might say like, oh, he saw me, like, you know, like just, like you know jump and fly or something like that it'll be a more it will be more complicated and uh, he, he spends time with him and then in the end <laughs> when it's, it's evening he's like okay like uh, you need to go home and the kid is like all right mom let's go and he's like wait a minute <laughs> mom's not here <laughs> starts crying <laughs> he thought the balloon was the mom what like so what did he think like his mom was flying away when the balloon was flying away did, did you think that his mom was flying away <laughs> i don't know but either way he, he he had no idea that the parents were his, his his mom was not here and i feel like this is one thing i i feel like probably it happens to kids i i do remember certain sections of my childhood where something like this did happen like you know like i was like wandering around like you know just mesmerized about something then suddenly I just realized like my mom is not following me and I'm like well now what I'm going to do and <clears throat> yeah that did happen certain times and it was it was scary you know like in the <clears throat> middle of the, the street or whatever or not street but in the middle of like a place like a shopping department or whatever like mom's not there and you're just looking around like and it's like loads of stranger so like you know like tall you, you're like you're like a little kid at that moment like these huge huge adults just walking around and you're just there with no one <laughs> that's scary so <laughs> i can kind of understand <clears throat> but i don't know why he did not realize that up until now <laughs> and probably he, he was so excited about cider man you know that he just forgot but either way he realizes that and uh, like he was like all right fine let me go and find your mom and brings Yuta to his mom and he he just removed all evidence of him interacting with him that the autograph is gone everything is gone and obviously if he tells someone that oh i met a person who jumped up so high and like you know cider man let me fly on his shoulders and took me to my mom no one's going to believe it you know he's a kid so yeah so obviously he he was like all right fine everything's okay no problem he'll probably forget about me after a few days but oh boy, the surprise that he got when he came back home that this kid and his mom has are actually their neighbors. And uh, <laughs> like he's like, well, this is a problem. <clears throat> All right, the next part is about his dad and we get to see what his dad actually does. I really thought he I, all he does is like lick his boss's boots, but turns out he has an actual job. <laughs> he's like a manga editor, I think, yeah and uh, like the, at first uh, so, like, you know, he was like oh my god like you know, I, I, I'm, I'm late like you know I, I, I'll, I'll be like you know like my, my boss will be mad at me and he's like Kus, uh, Kusuemon Kusuemon please help me out <laughs> bring out a, he was going to say like bring out a pink door did he say that let me check I think that's what he said yeah create that pink door that teleports me to my like the Doraemon, the Doraemon reference that this, this anime makes are insane you know, like, remember in Doraemon, there was like, the, I think it was called the Anywhere Door or whatever. Uh, it was a pink door that you could just open and go to somewhere you want to. So, <laughs> and that's also why he calls him Kusuemon. So, <clears throat> either way, Kus uh, uh, Psyche was like, nah, I'm not going to do that. Do it on your own. 
then as always like you know one thing that's one thing that can actually uh, convince psyche to do something um coffee jello and dad is like coffee jello well when i when i come back home you're going to get some and psyche just teleported him to the roof now here we get to see that he talks about uh shuesha and shuensha now as far as i know shuesha is an actual thing isn't it let me check shuesha uh there you go shuesha is like a manga um is a japanese company yeah uh entertainment related publishing division of japanese publisher shogaku khan okay and uh, uh man manga magazines published by shuesha includes the jump magazine line which also includes shonen magazines weekly shonen jump jump sq and v jump there you go <clears throat> that's why i was like i've heard shuesha so many times before i was not completely sure about what it was but here you go so at first psyche was like wait you work for shuesha like and he's like no no not that shuesha shuensha something else <laughs> i feel like there's a lot of sections like uh, probably it's like some um references that i probably missed you know for example they talk about the whole weekly shown shown in cognac department or whatever like obviously i, I guess it was a parody on the whole shown and jump thing <laughs> and uh like yeah he, he talks about like you know don't you know cognac like you know like he's like no i don't know what is that and <laughs> he's like what's that look don't tell me you not you don't know weekly shoni and cognac <laughs> jump magazine sunday champion and cognac oh, wow okay so yeah they get in and obviously the 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 main guy the the boss at first the boss was like where are you psyche you know you're, you're not here still and then when he sees psyche he was like oh he's he's someone I, i'm talking about uh kuso psyche kuso uh when he sees him he's like oh someone's actually interested in our department and the boss is like all right fine you can you know like you can actually go and um tour the whole of office and everything and the dad was like thank you thank god for you like you know i <laughs> i did not have to get scolded by my boss and psyche sees all everything that was like you know happening and everyone's just screaming like you know like not screaming but like you know having like a tough time people just calling their uh, like you know authors among authors and kind of giving them like you know kind of making them hurry about the whole deadline thing you know like uh, giving them a little heads up and all that so now he, now i'm guessing this this was another reference he brings up a, a, a magazine and talks about like a manga which is called ever optimistic santaro is this like a reference to another manga let me check i think this is probably a reference i have no idea what reference it is however I cannot even find it on the internet but it was probably a reference anyways um so yeah he he keeps talking about that now um the dad was like all right i have a visitor underneath like you know I'm, like i have to go down a little bit uh one of the authors is here i, I have to talk to him so psyche was like all right let me check what he's doing and he see oh my god this part was hilarious where the author was like gave him the the thing and he he saw it and he was like oh it's fine but you know he's like uh but the next time try to make the main character a psychic <laughs> and then he's like you make it more flashier and the author's like what do you even want from me it's all over the place your advice and then in the end he's like oh my god to put it plainly bring something like naruto <laughs> the references <laughs> anyways um so okay all of that was happening and uh, um psyche was like all right fine like you know my dad at least does something i know what he does so psyche was like i'm i'm content let's go home and he was going home when the dad completely just the, the like a coffee or something it falls on the on the uh the pages and the dad is like kusumon please help me <laughs> And, and psyche was like nope didn't you say that you, 
you uh, like you know there's no helping each other out in this type of a thing no superhero comes in and saves the day so yeah <laughs> i don't know what he did after that probably his dad was like all right instead of one i'll bring you five coffee yellows i'm guessing psycho would probably be convinced by that so he probably helped him out in either way in the end <laughs> okay the next one is again oh my god yuta is back he's back and he's like oh cider man let's let's like you know like hang out with me play with me and psycho remembers his mom told him to just play with him and psycho is like all right fine and he keeps comes into the house and talks about how everything should be cider that cider man should like you know bathe in cider brush with cider drink cider the 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 water like you know like that falls from the faucet should be also from cider all that stuff he talks about and how the like you know like the the character data or the character bio tells that's how cider man does his things <laughs> and he brought an anime a blu-ray for cider man number two and it started the anime started in a pretty um decent way you know like like a lemon whatever what was his name lemon man or whatever <laughs> lemon fiend okay lemonade fiend <laughs> he comes in and he like is just squeezing lemon into everyone <laughs> and everyone's like oh my god we're going to die what's going to happen the world is in trouble but in comes cider man he gets splashed by lemon juice nothing happens He's like, ah, this won't work on me because I've turned this into lemon cider. <laughs> and then they start talking about how you should make lemon cider. And then they talk about like how lemon cider is available at your local supermarkets and convenience store. Now on sale, energy lemon cider. <laughs> it's 148 yen including tax. Wow. That's, that's, that's hilarious. And... <laughs> So that was the whole anime or whatever and Psyche was like <laughs> Psyche was like what a blatant advertisement and it did work Yuta was like all right cider man number two one so we need to drink some lemon cider now lemonade cider let's go and buy some or buy me some some of them and Psyche was like no <laughs> in comes Nendo from wherever the hell he came from he brought three lemon ciders and uh, obviously Psyche just bashed the whole thing in his face. Yuta at first was kind of uh, trying to protect him but then when he saw him he was like wait a minute this is Fiend Baron Cola and <laughs> I don't know what the hell is up with Nendo why does everyone look like him like most of the characters in this show look like him for example his mom <laughs> mom looks like him his dad looks like him completely which i can make sense of but why the hell does fiend band baron cola also look like him they look the same <laughs> and nendo does say that um oh i'm a big fan of this guy that's why i keep the mustache like him but dad doesn't answer uh, explain the resemblance of these two they look completely the same <laughs> anyways um Yuta is as, like you know scared. Yuta's like, oh my god, like Cider Man, please help me. This guy, Fiend Baron Cola, is going to <laughs> is here, and <laughs> Nendo tries to make him like you know like kind of smile or whatever. He kind of does the whole Baron Fiend Baron Cola impression. He gets more scared and runs away, and then later on, Psyche also kicks him out. <laughs> god. And the next part was the summer festival and here Psyche was kind of having a nice time. He was like, ah, oh, finally, and I can kind of chill over here. But over here as well, all his friends are present. Nendo is there, Hyro is there, um, uh, Kaido is there. Who else? Yeah, these three are here. I was thinking Teruhashi is also going to pop up, but no, she was not here. Probably was here, but we don't know where she really was um the that guy the green haired guy what's his name um Takahashi or something like that i don't remember but that guy you know like the the, the green haired guy who we even saw in the one of the, a few of the previous episodes um he was also here and his wallet got stolen and later on psycho also realized that his wallet is stolen now i do wonder how did someone steal psyche's wallet from him I guess probably because there was a lot of people, a lot of uh, thoughts interfering in his like, you know, head that he wasn't able to realize that someone actually took it from him. So 
probably that but obviously psyche was extremely psyche was like wow like you know i'm a telepath how the hell did someone take it from me and the whole competitive thing comes up in psyche and he's like i'm going to find that guy out and i'm going to show him like you know like like you don't pickpocket something from me and uh, what he does is he apports something now here's one thing that i have to say like i think this was I don't know like you know he he did know what how much money his wallet had so he decided to apport something of a similar value but i don't know how that works because can't someone else have a similar uh, amount of money in their wallet you know like it can happen like that you know like why um i don't know i guess it's something that psyche probably uh i don't know like I, I guess like you know probably he he even made uh sure that the wallet in itself and everything like you know kind of calculated it very minutely and brought a similar thing so that you know like if even if someone else's wallet has the same amount of money it wouldn't work because he calculated in probably in that minutely or something like that he did i'm guessing he's a psychic he can do anything so anyways like you know he did a port like a like a scooter on top of him <laughs> you know in exchange for the wallet and the whole commotion kind of made him realize where the wall the thief is the pickpocket is and he tracked him down brought the the hanya mask i think that's what it's called and <laughs> and gave him a good good scare and uh he uh, little by little he kind of put in all the wallet to the original owner gave it to them and uh, turns out uh, even uh, Kaido, Hiro, and Nendo, their wallet was also stolen. And he, while he was putting them there, Nendo was able to realize that Psyche is also here. Probably because Nendo's head is empty. Psyche didn't realize that he, he, he knows that Psyche was here. So Nendo again catches Psyche by surprise. And obviously after Nendo comes in, everyone comes in. And everyone is like, oh, Psyche is here. And i guess he probably hung out with them after that <clears throat> unfortunately the the green haired guy his his wallet was not back i don't know why he probably just dropped it or something i guess <laughs> that's probably what ended up happening the next part is teruhashi and uh, uh, yumehara's uh, section where both of them kind of meet each other and they kind of go to like a coffee shop and uh, start talking about people they like and uh, oh boy this was an interesting section where because both of them were thinking about psyche but unfortunately none of them realized that uh, uh not until the end um i have to say they were quite perspective uh, no perceptive of each other and because they were able to kind of guess that each um the like psyche i guess for um what's his name uh, what's her name uh, uh, uh teruhashi you know, as soon as she slipped up about how she went to Psyche's house, Yumehara probably just uh, like realized that, oh, probably Psyche is the one. But I'm still thinking about how... I Like, you know, like how uh, Teruhashi was able to guess Yumehara's... Um, that also likes Psyche. Uh, probably, I, I think he said, she said something like, oh, as soon as I talked about Psyche, her face changed. That's how she realized. Like how like I, i'm so used to like you know characters being dense in anime especially in, due to in these type of situations that i was really surprised to see them being so per perceptive about each other and how what the person they liked so i was like damn but i guess that was the whole point of this section so that they are able to realize and the whole thing gets more complicated but all of these things were happening they were talking about everything and they t even talked about them going to the class trip in, in, in okinawa and they were in their head thinking about how they are going to spend time with psyche or whatever and uh, <clears throat> here everything was kind of like you know you know like coming into the outside where each were talking about the person they liked and uh, they were trying to guess if it was psyche while psyche was just beside them with his friends and he was like oh my god i really hope they don't pay attention to us so it will be the whole situation will get even more complicated and he was as he was thinking about this nendo does his usual thing he drops the straw on the other side and these girls got alerted of them 
and everything went goes so wrong where you know like they they see them and first of all Yumehara's face changes Yumehara seeing that Teruhashi realizes it's probably Psyche and Yumehara also realizes it's Psyche that Teruhashi is talking about and Psyche is like oh my god if these two actually start fighting over me that will be even more annoying than Nendo so what should I do all right let's do something he pushes Kaido towards Yumehara and Nendo towards um Teruhashi and makes their like you know the, the, their face heat up so the face gets red and there you go problem solved now Yumehara thinks that <laughs> that um Teruhashi likes um Nendo while uh Teruhashi thinks that Yumehara likes Kaido and uh yeah now I do wonder what's going to happen after they go to Okinawa because each thinks that they like the other person but they like Psyche so this will be very weird in a way so we'll see what happens <laughs> okay that was episode number 11 let us start with the, the next uh, <laughs> let us start with the next one episode number 12 so just a sec all right I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started okay here's the countdown three two one go all right let's see what what more disasters psyche has to <laughs> yeah psyche goes through Okay. Who'll win? Fateful grouping. Oh my god. Is, is, this the, is this the trip? I think so. There you go. It's, it's the trip. They're going to get grouped. Three Drake trip. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, he can just go there, you know? Oh no. Yes! <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Wow. Wait, there's another girl they need. Yeah. Wait, what? What? <laughs> Wait, we... Wow. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. What the hell? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Wait, really? Oh 
Oh my god. <laughs> but Psyche can easily tweak it, you know. To God? Wow. Wait. Yeah, he can easily change it. Oh my god. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> you know? <laughs> they don't care. <laughs> oh no, I feel like something's going to happen. Yo, I knew this was going to happen. Yeah. Uh. Ah. <laughs> yeah, they ended up. <laughs> Wait, what? Wow. Wait, what? Oh my god. <laughs> Trips and disasters go together. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Don't jinx it. <laughs> Yeah. Oh no, what's ha what's ha what's going to happen? Wow, here we go. <laughs> All right. What? <laughs> okay. Shut up. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Wow, you have an active imagination. <laughs> yeah. Ah, yes. Oh my god. Yo, the fish! <laughs> well... Yeah. Oh my god, the weather. She's <laughs> already at the climax. <laughs> yeah, now look at them. But can Psyche do something here? Or will he do something here? <laughs> oh my god, Mira. <laughs> Mira's like... Yeah, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
Wow. <laughs> but now? <laughs> It'll be cancelled, yep. Oh! Your fa- Wow. <laughs> there you go, Psyche just... <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> just like that. <laughs> Did he just absorb all of that or something? <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? Let's go on a plane with a psychic on board. Okay, Nendo, stop. Oh yeah, the whole... Oh my god. Yeah. Two and... It's a long time. <laughs> yeah! Oh, same time. Wow, this lady. Oh, oh my God. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> his mom found out his <laughs> Chuni notebook. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, what's happening? What the? <laughs> Yo, what's happening? Oh no! It's going on. Oh, it's going to come back tomorrow. Wow. No, it. Yeah. Well, that won't happen. Oh my God, he's getting the whole precognition. Yeah. Yeah. What the? Can these guys even fly a plane? Why are they talking like this? Why are they talking like this? Can they fly a plane? They're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, earthquake. Psyche is probably just. Psyche is just carrying it, I think. Yeah, there you go. Uh... Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well.
Okay. We are here, Okinawa school trip. All right. <laughs> I don't, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, you're sweating like crazy, yeah. What the? Yeah! That... What, what happened to him? Kashi? Wow, his chuni is going crazy! His chuni is going crazy. Ah. Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> He's like, yeah. Not well. Yeah. Okay. 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 All right. Enough. <laughs> Don't, Teruhashi. Please stop. <laughs> Not good, nice. <laughs> What? Uh, well, you know, <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Really? <laughs> okay, stop. Oh my god. <laughs> oh wow okay that is amazing money yeah Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> yeah. 
Fine, fuck. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Shit. <laughs> Well, I can see where this is going to go now. Yeah, there you go. I knew it. Well, great. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow! Oh! Oh, did Psyche do something? Yep. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> mm. Oh, they're practicing. Okay. Wow. <laughs> He's outside. Wait, where's Mera? Mera was supposed to be with... Is that... Oh yeah, he's sleeping. Wow! <coughs> oh no! Wow. Oh my god, yeah, something might he she might try to pick it out. Okay, uh Yeah, your powers are going crazy. He teleported the whole oh my god. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wait, they're going to end it there? Oh my god. Well. Uh. Okay. All right, there you go. So that was episode number 12. All right, we begin this episode with the Okinawa trip. You know, the school trip is going to happen. 
So we begin with first the um, uh, the group selection. Yeah, we are in school, and uh, everyone's like, "Oh, we want to go in Teruhashi's group as always," you know. And while Teruhashi and uh, Yumehara here in uh, is like, "Okay, so we should try to go in um, <clears throat> Saiki's group because obviously Teruhashi thinks that in Saiki's group since Nendo and." Um, uh, Kaido is there. Teruhashi thinks that oh, Kaido is there. That's why uh, Yumehara is trying to go in their group. While Yumehara was probably thinking that Kaido uh, Nendo is there. That's why Teruhashi is wanting to go in their group. So no problem over there. So they they knew obviously the whole misunderstanding is still ongoing. And um, there, like and obviously the third person that they were going to go with them was supposed to be Mera, but Mera is busy with her jobs. To you know, like uh, to get to get some money for the trip, and you know, like doing the construction job, and we also saw her like you know, kind of uh, going fishing and all that. So now it's up to these two to go and tell the you know, psyche that oh, we want to join your group. So obviously, at first, um, <laughs> um, Yumehara was like, okay, let me go and ask Kaido, and. Uh, Teruhashi was like, wow, she's quite assertive, isn't she? Trying to go, going to ask for Kaido. And, you know, because she thinks that he likes him. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, later on, um, Teruhashi also tries to go and ask Nendo while his, her usual fan group starts, like, you know, just harassing her and like, oh, we want, to, like, you know, you, we want you to join our group, this and that. And the whole thing about Teruhashi cannot ask uh, psyche out because so many people are there and uh, you know his pop her popularity has gone against her for this time so psyche was like <laughs> your popularity is working against you now anyways um all that aside they go <laughs> and in the end the whole thing ended up being the whole uh, uh ballot not ballot but raffle thing where no ba ballot thing i think that's what it's called ballot yeah where they're going to just choose the name and you know like whichever name comes up they're going to join that group Teruhashi however is a person who even got favors so she could just ask God a little bit with puppy dog eyes and God will be like ah it's fine <laughs> so he she was going to take out the Psyche's group's name unfortunately Psyche is here so Saiki was like, nope, not an, not an, like you know, I'm here, so I can easily change that. He changes the name, and there you go. <clears throat> it ended up being uh, Takahashi's group that Teruhashi <laughs> is going to join. So <clears throat> obviously, after that got uh, like you know, like um, uh, decided, all of them were all the other students were like, ah, what, what? It does it even matter? We don't want to do the um, ballot anymore all that uh, and <clears throat> at first sight was like ah look at this this is really good the thing that happens after that shows how much god favors teruhashi because the per people who ends up choosing uh, nendo's group are those girls who were like ah nendo we don't want to be with Nen in be nendo's group you know like we cannot uh, accept this blah 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 and teruhashi was like <clears throat> this is my chance she's like Okay, I'm going to volunteer to go in Nendo's group. <laughs> Everyone was like, wow, look at this goddess. She's actually sticking up for Nendo. <laughs> Obviously, Takahashi's group was not happy about that at all. And Saiki was like, well, for God's sake, God really does favor her. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, nothing you can do about it now. And <laughs> they're in their group. So... Now, turns out Mera cannot. Um... Oh, then another thing happened, which again kind of changes the whole thing. Uh, where Mera turns out Mera cannot go with them. So this part I need to kind of understand. So, oh, since it's thirty-five people, the group needed to be changed. It was six into six, but since it's, it became thirty-five people, it became seven into five. Uh, seven people into five groups. So, so it has been decided that we'll form five groups with seven members. 
So each member in Taylor's group will join another group. Oh, wait, that was a weird way they decided to do it. So basically, they they were like, okay, Saiki's group each like you know, has like five people. Each of them are going to join some different group. So that means they basically got completely separated from each other, which I feel like is a very yeah, like that's unfair, isn't it? Like I, I like you know, like obviously Teruhashi and uh, like I can understand like you know, the girls and boys getting separated, but here everyone got separated. Like even Yumehara cannot be with um, Teruhashi while on the other side, uh, Saiki and what's the name Nendo and um, Kaido. They're going to get separated. Three of them are going to join some separate groups. So I, I think that was totally unfair. That last part especially. Like, what was that? But obviously, Psyche is happy. Psyche is like, huh, I can God listen to me. But there's still something, some twists left. Um, when they, when Psyche goes back home, obviously, um, the mom and dad were like, oh, this is a, like, you know, first time going with your friends, this and that. They talk about whether, you know, like, the, his powers will be okay or not, but wouldn't he accidentally start uh, activate their power? Um, Oh, oh my god, Ko, uh, Teruhashi's brother comes in and he starts yapping about how like, you know, like he's not going to allow uh, Psyche, you know, to go all that stuff, Teruhashi is going with them, he's not going to allow that, blah blah blah, he talks about I'm also going to go, he brings up these crazy scenarios of some, um, like, you know, some harem anime scenarios, you know, like, <laughs> where Psyche is going to somehow sneak up on Teruhashi, all that, like on these weird delusions. And uh, he was like, oh, I'm going to skip out on work next week. I'm definitely going and I don't care whatever happens. And uh, obviously Psyche was like, oh my God, if this guy comes, it will be a mess. You know, like obviously because everyone will be start fussing about he's he's an actor you know like everyone's, everyone's going to go crazy about him number one number two he's going to continuously just keep bothering psyche and obviously the whole thing with terohashi is also going to like you know have he, he's going to keep bothering terohashi as well all these things psyche is like yeah this is a problem and he's like okay let me just go and snitch to their boss <laughs> i think that's what he says doesn't he okay here i was finally able to get the grouping changed if he comes, the trip will be ruined. I'll let his manager know so that he won't be able to skip out on his work. There you go. So. <laughs> okay. Now, while this, all of this was happening. Wait a minute. One thing. How did you get the ticket? Just a sec. He brings out the ticket. He starts laughing. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh my god, okay, I realized what he did. Th this part was quite subtle. I did not understand when I was reacting that how he got... Okay, so he basically, I think, aborted it to him. The ticket. Most probably, that's what he did. And uh, he's like, okay, like I'm going to snitch to the uh, manager, but then he ends up seeing uh, Mera. <laughs> With a big fish and obviously he was like oh like you know like i, I cannot go to the trip you know it's like one my only one uh like you know like uh school trip that usually happens comes to people's lives only once i won't be able to go and in the end psyche was like all right you win you know and teruhashi group was restored so there you go everything's back to normal again and uh, yeah so Mera has joined, but the problems are still not over. Uh, a typhoon is going to happen. Everyone's sad, you know, and uh, like you know, everyone was so excited at the beginning. Yumehara was like, "Oh, look at my candies!" Um, you know, like Hiro. Uh, Hiro was talking. No, not Hiro. Sorry, uh, Kaido. Kaido was like you know, kind of acting nonchalant at the beginning, but now he's really depressed because they won't be able to go. Mera obviously sad. One and only school trip. Nendo has gone crazy completely. <laughs> Making weird puns. The school teacher, oh my god, the, the, the teacher was hilarious. He was like, uh, like nothing we can do about it. It has to be cancelled. You cannot postpone it. And 
the students were like, ah, you don't have anything like you know, to lose here. Look at us. What can we do now? You know, this is our one and only school trip. And the Uno falls down from his pocket. <laughs> the students are like, ah, you also wanted to go, didn't you? <laughs> the teacher is just... <laughs> God. Hyra, on the other hand, is like, you know, just trying to encourage them, but nothing's working, obviously. So, yeah, everything's a mess. So, Psyche's like, all right, fine. He goes there, defeats the typhoon, you know, and comes back. And the typhoon is gone. Psyche was a little bit wet, but it's fine. He's an esper, he can do anything. And a little wet, being wet is no problem. He just dried himself off. And yeah, everything's fine. The trip is going to happen. I did think, you know, like something is probably going to happen to the plane. But Psyche is going to resolve it. You know, because Psyche is an esper. It did end up happening, though. Uh, when they were in the plane, obviously everyone was just so happy. First of all, Kaido uh, was just sick, you know, the air sickness, just you know, hurling and everything. And Teruhashi obviously was very uh, concerned and uh, Kaido was like, ah, if I see Teruhashi's face, I'll be able to keep myself, you know, from not vomiting. So Nendo comes in front of him and he starts <laughs> puking even more. <laughs> Anyways, Psyche is just, you know, like, all right, fine, I'm going to bring your uh, thing, um, the, 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 sickness, the air sickness pill or whatever. He goes back to the house, brings it, and he sees that his, oh my, Kaido's mom is just so extreme, I see this, you know, like, I said this before in the previous video as well, like, there are parents like this who's, like, so controlling over their kids that it kind of works out in a very bad way. The kids end up being people who just lack personality or like, you know, lack, uh, like, you know, like, what can I say? You know, because the way, the way they are so controlling, the kids end up being people who just cannot do anything on their own by the end of it. And, uh, you know, like, obviously you should be controlling as your parents, but not like this, just spying on your kid 24 seven, they're gonna going snooping into his room and trying to find out what he had like what the hell anyways like you know like i guess that's the whole thing of her you know like i understand that that's like her personality here in this show but it is like you know like even though it's like kind of comedic in a way if you think of it in that way it's kind of sad like thinking about how um uh, what's his name um kaido always has to you know like try to hide everything from his mom, cannot say anything. Even if he gets friends, his mom will be like, oh, this friend, this friend is not suitable for you. You know, uh, don't talk with him ever again. That type of a controlling personality. He cannot, like, you know, he, he cannot be free with his mother. And that's so sad, you know, like, anyways, um, enough about that. Um, he, uh, the mom did try, ended up finding his Chudi notebook. I don't know what's going to happen after he goes back home, <laughs> but yeah. Anyways, um, Psyche's like, okay, enough is enough. I'm going to have a little nap. And oh my god, Takashi starts, his, his stomach is aching. And it's, it went to, goes to such an escalation, to such a thing that they're going to probably like, you know, kind of land and you know, like, stop the trip. So Psyche's like, no, I've come this far. I am going to go on to uh, Okinawa. And he <laughs> just delays his stomach ache for one day. And Takashi's like, oh, I'm going to have great fun now that I'm fine. But... Like he's like, nah, tomorrow you're going to get the pain back again. <laughs> he goes to sleep, he gets this um, vision of the future where the plane, something is going to happen and people will be in trouble. You know? So, oh my god. They go, and he, he wakes up, he's like, okay, I'll have to do something about this. And uh, he not trying to find out what's problem with the plane he ends up carrying the plane when it was in trouble i don't know what the pilots were <laughs> i love the way the pilot were talking the pilot was like what you mean that gotch like <laughs> the way they were speaking what is going on try pulling that lever over there or something he pulls it it's not working no response then try clicking some of those yellow and green buttons over there. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> do they even know to? <laughs> do they even know to fly the plane? Why are they talking like this? <laughs> that was that was quite funny. I don't know what the was that, but I guess that was the whole comedic. Like, you know, that was a joke. Anyways, uh, they were all going to crash, but obviously Psyche is there. Psyche just ended up carrying the plane, 
and yeah so and in the end psyche was all out of juice he was like ah like yeah i'm i'm tired they end up on the bus and uh, all right so everyone's having kind of fun in the bus they're going to hiro is just getting excited um uh, yuma hara is showing her swimsuit um while uh nendo is just acting like nendo <laughs> kaido is using their dialect in the okinawan dialect and talking about the kind of like you know kind of doing that impersonating that teruhashi ends up kind of what do you call it just complimenting him and she's like oh that's really cool and oh boy kaido goes off on that completely he keeps talking like that continuously and by the end of it teruhashi yumehara everyone was like well this is getting a little bit awkward and uh, you know like a little bit repetitive now he's like it's annoying actually <laughs> he keeps kind of doing it like that even when they were eating and everything <laughs> and uh, okay and and again like you know teruhashi because you know her personality is like that he ends up obviously he, he she kind of ends up uh, just uh, complimenting others like that you know just because to maintain her image he again ends up complimenting her him and kaido just goes even more crazy he just keeps talking like that either way they're outside and uh, they get to see like there's like a mongoose versus snake battle or whatever was going on at first psyche was like oh no i'm not going to go there but then he sees that what the girls are doing that is you know like mera is just eating the samples <laughs> Teruhashi is being crowded by people so he's like all right maybe i should go with the boys and he goes with them and oh my god this this old man he he starts <laughs> he starts like you know talking in weird puns and what <laughs> what was that <laughs> anyways um he brings out a television he's, he's like here you go you know mongoose versus snake and everyone's like what the hell we came here to see your actual fight and it's like you do know that there's like you know like the animal protection laws and everything so yeah that's not going to happen now <laughs> it was like a 3 minute video or something <laughs> they end the video and they're going to go away i was thinking that he's going to charge them or something but turns out he's not charging them but he's actually going to be like oh you saw the video so here you go these things like this is made out of the out of the snake this is that this is this way related to the snake starts uh what are these called habu powder habu oil can't canned habu habu poison buns habu juice all these weird things he just starts bringing up and uh, yeah that's basically how he kind of does his thing like attracts people by just mongoose versus snake shows them like a 3 minute clip and just tries to sell them stuff obviously kaido is just you know very gets like kind of you know weak against pressure so he ends up buying everything now they're in the hotel and the hotel is really good you know like it's it's very nice and uh, yeah so obviously the, the the all the people are like you know like and have different rooms takashi's group end up with uh, the uh, like, you know the the room is the same as the our group's room uh, and they yeah now all the girls are also like you know eating and everything everyone's eating mera is just like you know just devouring everything <laughs> and obviously i knew what was going to happen after this obviously the whole like you know cliche template of every anime whenever there's like a school trip or um, like any kind of trip to like you know like and there's like like a bathing section obviously the boys will be peeking and there you go that's what ends up happening Take, takahashi's group was like yeah we're going to do that and one of the guys actually came here and scouted this place out like my god and um, they even have telescopes and everything they're ready for it but obviously psyche is there you know psyche is not going to let them do that and uh, yeah the, the things automatically turned towards them <laughs> and they ended up getting embarrassed by looking at then those you know lower portion <laughs> they get depressed they they're unable to peek at the girls and there you go that ended up okay on the other hand uh boy um yumehara and uh, teruhashi they're like practicing to go to the boys room and just like oh we came here we're going to play a little you know 
you know, just so that they could see Psyche. And uh, Psyche just bailed out of there, just a little, you know, kind of slowly, and uh, came outside, went to sleep. He was tired. The whole day has been hectic for him. Teruhashi comes in, and oh my god, Teruhashi ends up taking off the thing. And uh, what we feared was going to happen happened. He had a little accident and ended up teleporting or whatever he did. I, I think he aborted the whole thing. The whole hotel just went away. And uh, uh, oh my god. Like, uh, what was that guy's name? I always forget his name. Um, the medium, the guy. Uh, Reta, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reta, that's his name. Reta was also there. Reta was like, like Psyche, like, wake up quickly. Look what happened. Look what your powers did. And now everyone's gone. I don't know what the hell Teruha she is. She also probably got teleported alongside all of that. And uh, yeah, this is a mess. Now, I don't know what Psyche is going to do after that. Like, I, I do wonder how was he even able to do it? Because according to the whole Aport thing, you know, like you need to bring something of equal uh, value to the place. So he teleported the whole hotel out. So soon something of equal value be here. So I do wonder what actually happened. I'm guessing we're going to get to know in the next episode how he ended up doing that. And if it was actually a port or it was something else he did. So we'll see about that in the next episode. But it ended up in a kind of like a cliffhanger, you could say. Not a cliffhanger, but in a questionable way. So we're going to resume that next week. So that's it. Thanks for watching. This was my reaction to Psyche Kusuo no Sainan episode number 11 and 12. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button, subscribe. If you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say <clears throat> anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out that's it guys thanks for watching i'll see you guys next week with two more episodes of uh, psychic kusono sign on until then goodbye and have a nice day